In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to create a hover animation that you can use over and over again inside of Final Cut Pro by using Apple Motion. Also, if you don't feel like following along, I'm such a perfectionist mm -hmm. that I'd kind of rather not do it at all. I do have a free download down below where you can get this hover animation to use in your videos, plus a bunch of other animation presets. Go ahead and open up Apple Motion. If you don't get the project browser, you can push Command, Option, and N. From there, you're gonna need to select the Final Cut effect, and after that, you'll wanna come over to your duration. I strongly recommend that you set this duration to an amount of time that you think you'll never actually hit with this animation. So in this instance, I've set it to 600 seconds, which should add up to about 10 minutes or so. Once we've done that, go ahead and push open. The reason we need to do that is it's going to help with looping. As it stands, it's pretty difficult to always perfectly line up a looping point for this animation. So to make it as customized as possible, we just want the duration to be a super long amount of time. Inside of Motion, go ahead and select your effect source, then go to your inspector and locate your properties. In here, you'll see the position parameter. Go ahead and expand that, then right click on the Y value, go down to add parameter behavior, and select oscillate. If we push command eight, that will show us the keyframe editor, and in here we can see that there's this nice up and down value happening as a beautiful hover animation. So if I push play, this is being applied onto the Y value of our effect source. Over here on the left, we can adjust stuff like the phase of the animation, the amplitude, so we could add a lot more intensity to it, the speed if we want way more up and down motion, we can even set it to a half range so it's almost a bounce. So there's a ton of power with this particular parameter. All we need to do to get this over into Final Cut Pro is find each parameter, click on this down arrow, and select Publish. Continue to do that until you've published every single one of these parameters. And finally, before we go over into Final Cut Pro, it's super important that you go to the very end of the animation and push Shift M. That's going to add this green marker. Right click on that marker and select Edit Marker, then change the type from Standard over to Project Loop end. From there, we can just push Command S to save it. We can call it hover or whatever you like and throw it into whatever category you like. For this, I'll just throw it in my tutorials category and push publish. Now we can go ahead and jump inside of Final Cut Pro. In Final Cut Pro, you can see I have this nice logo and I want to animate it in a beautiful hover animation. So we can just go on over into our effects browser, look up the hover animation, and from there we can just click and drag it onto this logo. And just like that, it's hovering. We could go ahead and bring up the speed if we wanted to. We could bring down the amplitude. We could change the phase on it. We could even change the wave shape. So now it's just going up and down. We could change it over to sawtooth so it just goes up in one direction. Really up to you how you want this animation to look directly inside of Final Cut Pro. That said, you might run into an issue where one of your edges is being cut off. If you run into that problem, go ahead and delete the hover animation, select whatever you want to animate, right click on it, and apply it into a new compound clip. From there, we can apply the hover animation and you should be set. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button and you may want to check out this video where I show you my powerful Motion Tools plugin which brings the hover animation as well as many other animation types over into Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.